I know you have asked this question. Is there an app like Tinder but for friends? And you know what? There really is. In fact, there are many apps just like that. Because let's be honest, being an adult isn't easy. There's always plates to wash. There's always bills to pay. And if you run out of milk, it doesn't magically appear in the fridge like it did when you were a child. Hmm. And you know, one of the hardest things as an adult is actually making friends. Because it always feels a little bit weird, doesn't it? To admit to yourself that you need to expand your social circle. Now, there's no judgement here. Life happens for whatever reasons. You don't talk to your high school friends anymore or those from university. Your friends moved away or they had a family so that you hardly see each other anymore. And this video is all about the best apps for making friends, which I have used myself and if you are interested, stay tuned. Bumble BFF This is my personal favourite. This is why it's at the start of the video. This app I have actually used and I have found a successful best friend and a partner about two years ago. The app has three versions. You've got dating, business connections and BFF, which is the friendship app. You easily sign up, select the friend option, and just like how you would expect dating apps to work, you read a bio, you swipe left or right, and then someone has to make the first move and start the conversation, otherwise the match will expire in 24 hours. And it includes a cool feature where you can select from three icebreakers that are auto-generated when you have a successful match. So if introductions aren't your thing, well don't worry, this app will have your back, you just choose the best one and boom, make a friend. Meet up. If you want to find a new friend by similar interests, then this app really is for you. You can view and join groups that have been set up in your actual local area from book clubs, fitness events, to newbie mums, to adventure walks. There's so many things. There's a whole range of different categories and interests that you will find even during these lonely COVID lockdown times because there's even virtual meetups taking place on this app right now. Hey Vina, this has to be my second favourite friendship app. It's easy to use, it's very, very popular, and there's always an event happening. So just like how you'd expect the app to run, you can view profiles, you can swipe on those who you think will make an amazing friend. But what makes this a little bit different is how the app is focused on events. So you're actually meeting someone to do something, which gets rid of their awkwardness. So basically, every Every member has made some plans. Could be going for drinks on Friday, watching a film at the cinema, or COVID favourite Zoom pub night quizzes. Friend, uh, literally, like it says on the tin. What makes this app stand out is how it selects your matches. It's a little bit smarter than the previous ones. Instead of just being shown random strangers in your area, it's going to match you with people who matched up to the interest that you selected when you made your own profile. So therefore you have something in common to talk about with your new friend straight away. Peanut. If you are a new mum, well, I have all the love in the world for you because it's tough. It's tough being an adult, let alone an adult responsible for a little tiny baby. And from the experience of my friends who have had children, whilst the rest of the friend group went to work and got on with things, it kind of leaves the mums feeling very left out because no one's free. So this app is made by mums for mums. But not only does this give you a community space to ask questions that every mum needs the answer, answers to, but there are groups inside the app where you can chat with anyone and well pretty much any time on a wide range of woman related topics. So don't feel singled out if you don't have your own children or if you are trying to conceive or you would just prefer the idea of meeting friends with a mum over someone that doesn't have their own children because the app will most definitely welcome you into this whole peanut mum community. I use this app at least once a week. This isn't strictly a meeting a friend app but it offers the same. So it's a website based on, well, obviously events, right? From local area arts and crafts to actual online webinars from around the world. So because this website offers so many diverse categories of things to do, and with the focus right now being on community during lockdown, this app is going to help you polish up or learn new skills and also make friends along the way 
because other people will be attending these events. Next door. This app is crazy popular on the app stores right now. It's an online community for your local area. So it might be busy, it might not, depends where you live. Not only can you tap into your neighborhood and join local groups, you can connect with people close by. You can support local businesses that you didn't even know existed and you can buy and sell things you no longer want. So it's kind of like a small Facebook marketplace with the option of having a friend group inside a small little app. And we have reached the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you wanna watch some more, then please do. There will be some videos at the side of my head. So click those if you wanna watch some more. Give us a huge like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.